what warning signs need urgent attention? So let me turn to that for a moment so you can think about the things that you want attended to. If you get flashing lights and floating spots, we worry about that being bleeding in an eye with diabetes or retina detachment signs. I didn't talk about detachments because it happens right across the age groups, but it's something not to miss. Um, the distortion of the central vision that happens with any of those blood vessel things, including macular degeneration or diabetes with fluid, can cause a spot that's blanked out like that, or something that changes like this, where the edges seem to be distorted, like they're underwater, or they might even droop, um, or they can make it look like something small in one area. That needs to be checked, because if we catch them early, the macular degeneration, blood vessels can be treated. Um, pain with redness, it can be a problem in the cornea, like an infection, it can be something called iritis, an inflammation in the eye, or it can be that angle closure glaucoma we talked about earlier, and especially if it's pain with nausea. What signs need a checkup but it's not urgent? General blurring or some trouble focusing or variability, the dryness or the wetness or the combination, persistent itching and burning with uh, blurred vision. How can you keep your eyes healthy and your vision intact? So these are some general tips, and I think they're probably in your hand out there. Eat smart. This is true for making sure you're getting enough of the vegetables and the minerals and everything else you need for the rods and cones to work. Omega-3 fatty acids for the meibomian glands to work to keep the tears working. Um, and these things also, there's a whole list of vitamins that are helpful for macular degeneration. Also, eating smart to control diabetes and blood pressure. Leave the salt shaker alone. Quit smoking, we talked about. Good for macular degeneration, cataracts, some of those stroke and high blood pressure changes. Exercise, not only can it reduce the risk maybe of glaucoma, but also diabetic eye problems, it may also affect the oxygen levels in the back of the eye and some balance of vision and reaction times. Wear sunglasses, protect your eyes from excess ultraviolet, especially if you're out on the water a lot. Hat with a brim works as well. Those things contribute to cataracts and macular degeneration. Wear safety glasses. About 90% of eye injuries are preventable if somebody was wearing safety glasses. Pulling a nail out of the wall, using a, a staple gun, all sorts of things. If you've already got bad vision in one eye, your risk of an injury to your other eye is slightly higher because you don't see it coming out. The depth perception with the two eyes together is messed up. You want to take care of any contact lenses and glasses that you have. Make sure you don't put dirty lenses in that you're looking after the fluids and solutions. Computer strain is often a complaint we hear about nowadays. Making sure you've got computer glasses that work, that you're um, taking a break from the screen periodically, that you've got uh, fluid and that you're not in a really dry environment. Um, all of that helps. Take care of your general health. It all adds up. And you can have multiple things all in one body. So looking after all those things at least keeps the rest of it running on margin. And then be aware of the vision effects of brain and neurology diseases and also of medications you might be taking. Some of them really need to be monitored or the side effects you're having may be from a new medication that started if it's a very sudden onset. Get regular eye exams if you have a risk of having these things, or you have them already.